I just saved an article about building agents in N8N to my bookmark manager. The AI automatically tagged it and gave me a decent short summary, but here's what I actually needed. Which specific agent patterns were covered? Uh, what the workflow structures look like and, and how this connects to my current automation projects. The AI could have extracted exactly what I wanted, but I'm stuck with whatever generic prompt the developers decided to use. This is the frustration with some AI powered tools today. They promise intelligent automation, but lock you into their way of thinking. Take Carakeep, a self-hosted bookmark manager that automatically tags and summarizes your links, notes, images, PDFs, all using AI. It's actually really, really good. You get local control over your data, mobile apps, browser extensions, and AI processing that works with OpenAI API compatible models or local Olama setups. And the developer who made it is pretty amazing too even commenting on my last video. But here's the limitation. You can't edit the full prompts that get sent to the AI models. You can only append bullet points to their existing prompt structure. You're stuck with their generic approach to processing your content. This makes sense to avoid complexity for most users, but perhaps you want to process content differently depending on the type of content or source. Well, what if I told you there's a way to keep all of Carakeep's great features, but unlock complete AI customization? Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to build a web article workflow that automatically extracts content and generates custom summaries when you bookmark them. But that's just the beginning. Once you see this pattern, you'll understand how to customize Carakeep's AI for any workflow you can imagine like using a different prompt for GitHub repos or GitHub issues, or maybe for recipe pages. Or, oh, there's just so much more you can do. Let's talk about what Carekeep gives you out of the box. The, the built-in AI features include auto tagging and summarization through multiple AI providers like OpenAI or local models via Olama. You bookmark something and Carekeep can automatically generate tags or create a summary using whatever AI model they've configured. I showed this in the previous video. In case you missed that, you can find that right here. But here's where you hit the customization wall. You can only append bullet points to their existing prompts. That means you're stuck with their prompt structure, their chosen phrasing, and, and their way of thinking about your content. If you want the AI to focus on specific aspects of your bookmarks, or use a different analysis approach, you're out of luck. The model restrictions are even more limiting. You're stuck with whatever Carakeep officially supports. Maybe you want to use Claude for better reasoning or a specialized model for technical content. Okay, while you can technically use Claude, Anthropic recommends using the OpenAI endpoint only for testing and not for a production. Maybe you need access to Olama's cloud offerings for private and secure AI models that are faster than what you can do locally. With the built-in integration, none of that matters. You get what they give you. Why does this matter? Well, your bookmarks deserve smarter, more personalized AI processing. The whole point of using AI with your knowledge management system is to make your information more useful, more accessible. When you are limited to generic prompts and whatever models the platform supports, you're missing out on the real power of AI automation. So here's where N8N changes everything. Carakeep has webhooks that trigger whenever bookmarks are added or updated. Think of webhooks like doorbell notifications. Every time something happens in Carakeep, it can ping your N8N workflow and say, hey, something new just happened. The webhook sends you the bookmark ID, and then using the API, you can retrieve the rest of the data about the bookmark, like the title and any tags or notes that you've added. Your N8N workflow receives this data and can do whatever processing you want. 
Then here's the key part. You use Karakeep's API to write the results back to the bookmark. This creates a powerful combo. Webhook triggers lead to custom AI processing, which leads to API updates. It's like having a personal assistant that watches your bookmarks, processes them exactly how you want, and updates them with the results. But instead of being limited to Karakeep's built-in options, you control every step. As you may have noticed in my videos, I think N8N is a super powerful addition to Karakeep. But there are some viewers who think I am only positive about it because they're paying me. Yes, this is sponsored. And yes, N8N has sponsored me for a few videos over the last few months. But I've used N8N for a much longer time than that. Before working at Olama, I was the first evangelist at Datadog. I was there for eight years, starting the evangelist team and training and docs. Unfortunately, after I left, they opted for the ridiculous advocate name and over evangelist, but hey, I'm no longer there. Anyway, I used N8N for a bunch of workflows when I was there, and I left Datadog over four years ago. Four years? Where did that time go? Anyway, I used to at Olama as well, and I left there two years ago. So I have been a huge fan for probably six or maybe even seven years. And I am so excited about what it can offer tools like Karakeep. But here's what makes using N8N with Karakeep so powerful. You're not just limited to text processing. You can integrate with other services too. Fetch additional data from APIs, analyze images or videos, extract metadata, or even trigger actions in other tools. The webhook and API combination turns Karakeep into a hub for complex automation workflows. Now, let's build the complete workflow that shows you exactly how this works. We're going to create a system where bookmarking a web article automatically extracts the full content and generates a custom summary with exactly the analysis you want. This workflow demonstrates the full power of combining webhooks, custom AI processing, and API updates. The complete workflow looks like this. Bookmark creation triggers webhook notification to N8N, content extraction from the web page, custom AI analysis, and finally API update back to Karakeep. Each step builds on the previous one, and by the end, you'll have a fully automated system that turns your bookmarks into searchable, analyzed knowledge. Let's start with step one. The webhook receives the article bookmark from Karakeep. When you bookmark a web article, Karakeep fires the webhook immediately. The payload includes the article URL and a unique bookmark ID that you'll need for updating later. In your N8N workflow, the webhook trigger node captures this data. When a bookmark is created by Karakeep, it tries to crawl the page and scrape it. I like to wait for that scrape process to complete before moving on with the workflow, but I don't want to wait forever. So I set up a loop to check if the results are there and then wait a few seconds and try again, up to a maximum number of tries. I'm using N8N's new data tables feature to track this. Data tables is a basic database table. It's not a feature rich database, but often you just need a place to store information while running a workflow. And for that data tables are perfect. Every workflow execution has an execution ID. So I record that in a data table. Then I use the Karakeep API to get the full bookmark. This is just an HTTPS request node, and I'm using a bearer authorization header to connect to Karakeep. You create the API key here and then create the header credential. And then I get the number of runs processed for this execution ID. If the bookmark has been crawled or it's an image or it's attempted to run 20 times, it moves on to the next step in the workflow. Otherwise, it waits two seconds adds one to the number of runs processed and tries again. And then I delete the row with the current execution ID since I don't need that anymore. Next, I get all the tags in the system, which I will use later on. 
This is another simple HTTP request node using that same header. And then I set everything important in one place. Now I use a switch to test what kind of content I'm processing. So I have a branch for videos and another for images, but this is for written web content. For now, all written content is processed the same way, but we've already talked about some ways to improve that. Now that I have the content, I can ask the model to come up with a summary and relevant tags. I've been building up this prompt for a while and I think it's pretty good. The big thing is that I want to come up with tags that match the article, but if there's an existing tag that's close to one it's chosen, we'll prefer that existing one. And it should come up with up to 20 tags. Tags should be singular and American English because, well, I, that's where I live and should avoid hyphens. Probably two thirds of this prompt is about my rules for tags, which is different from the default. And it uses Olama Cloud, formerly known as Olama Turbo and specifically DeepSeek. And then it uses the CareKeep API to add my tags to the bookmark. Then with a different API, it adds a new summary to the bookmark. But although the prompt's different, the overall uh, results aren't that much different from what we had before. So I'll add this to the prompt, asking to find the most quotable quotes. Then I need to update the JSON schema to use. Let's try this by bookmarking a new article. And there are the quotes. <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? Now let's talk about troubleshooting common issues and optimizing the workflow. The most common problem is content extraction. Some websites block automated scraping or have complex layouts that make content extraction difficult. Your workflow needs error handling to gracefully skip problematic sites or fall back to simpler extraction methods. I was using an HTTP request node, but then had better luck relying on the scrape done by Karakeep, hence that loop at the beginning. But that isn't perfect. And in a later video, I'm gonna show you some alternative steps that you can use here. One step I'm thinking of adding to this workflow is embedding the content and adding it to a vector database, making a more powerful knowledge base of content that I've consumed. You can also optimize the AI prompts based on article length and type. Short news articles might need different analysis approaches than long form technical tutorials. Add logic that adjusts the prompt based on content length or detected article category. Consider adding quality checks too. Sometimes the AI generates analysis that are too generic or miss important details. You can add validation steps that check analysis length, keyword presence, or other quality metrics. This web article workflow is just the beginning, but it shows you the complete pattern. Webhook trigger, content extraction, custom AI processing, and API update. Once you understand the webhook to API pattern, the possibilities become endless. Let's talk about some workflow ideas that'll completely change how you use CareKeep. Research workflows can auto-categorize academic papers by methodology. When you bookmark a research paper, the workflow extracts the abstract, identifies whether it's qualitative, quantitative, or mixed methods, and tags it accordingly. You can even have it identify the research domain and key findings and update your bookmark with structured metadata that makes papers actually searchable. Content workflows extract key quotes and themes from articles. Instead of generic summaries, you get the three most quotable sentences and the main argument structure and any supporting evidence. This is perfect for content creators who need to reference articles later or researchers building literature reviews. Learning workflows generate study notes from educational content. Bookmark a tutorial or course and get automatically generated flashcards, key concept definitions, and practice questions. The AI can identify learning objectives, prerequisites, and even suggest related topics to explore next. Business workflows analyze competitor content and trends. When you bookmark competitor blog posts or case studies, the workflow extracts their strategies identifies tools that they mention, and tracks recurring themes across multiple pieces. You end up with competitive intelligence 
that's actually organized and, and actionable. So that's the technique. N8N transforms Karakeep from basic AI to completely customizable automation. You're no longer stuck with generic prompts and limited models. Instead, you get webhooks that trigger custom workflows, APIs that update your bookmarks, and the freedom to use any AI service you want. The web article workflow we built shows you the complete pattern, but it's just the starting point. You can adapt this approach for any type of content, any AI model, and any kind of analysis you need. The key is understanding that webhook plus custom processing plus API update equals unlimited customization. Start with the web article workflow to get familiar with the pattern, then build your own workflows for the content types that you actually bookmark. Once you see how much more useful your bookmarks become with custom AI processing, you'll wonder how you ever managed without it. If you want more automation tutorials like this one, hit subscribe and the bell. Next time, I'm covering how to make this workflow even better with a new node that I built for Carekeep. If you're watching this in the future, click here or there's something equally interesting right here. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.